this is this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, I lost sleep last night and the night before and the night before wondering, what can we do to save boxing? What does boxing need? How can we fix it? How can we save it? And then it dawned on me. It needs more weight classes and more champions. There's only 17 weight classes and four champs in each weight class. And five, if you can't, that would be a regular. That's not enough. What does boxing need? It needs an 18th division and 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 a, another world champion. We're gonna get into this because um, because this is interesting. There you go. <laughs> I, I I don't know if this is necessary. You know, look, they're like laws. Like if you, there are so many of them, that they're hard to follow. If you're gonna add a new one, take out an old one, right? We don't need another weight class. Um, you know, 105 and 108. Just make a 106 pound division and get rid of it. 112 and 115. Just do 114 and call it. You don't need all these weight classes. That's what I'm saying, right? There's already too many weight classes. Um, do we really need to create another one? And I understand why they're doing it. They're, they're, look, this was they work with Tony Ballou. Tony Ballou said he fit perfectly into that weight class. And I get it. You have 250, 260. In the case of a Drell, big steroid, Miller, you have 300-plus pound heavyweight. Drell Miller would outweigh uh, Ty, uh, Deontay Wilder by almost 100 pounds, 90 pounds, like that. Um, so, so I get the need for this. I, I, I do. But there are too many weight classes, period. Um, if you weigh 210, 215, you can shrink down to 200 pounds. Bigger guys do it all, you know, smaller guys do it all the time. It's not even 10% of, you, of your body weight. So I also don't know who wants to be the super cruiserweight champion of the world, right? Like, um, just be the heavyweight champion of the world. If you're 220, just be the heavyweight champion of the world, right? Like Usyk, look, Deontay Wilder was the heavyweight champ for a long time. Usyk can beat all those guys. Usyk can beat Wilder. Usyk can beat uh, AJ. Can he beat Fury? Uh, I don't know. Um, but maybe he could. He's uniquely skilled and gifted uh, for somebody this size. I, I mean, maybe down the road there'll be a need for this. But right now, I mean, like I get blue sentiment, right? Like, and, and it's more for the light heavyweights. If you're 175, if you're Joe Smith and you have trouble making 175, okay. You, now you're going to move up the cruiserweight. And I'm not saying Joe Smith is. I'm just taking a big light heavyweight for an example. But let's say he's having trouble making 175. He doesn't want to make it anymore. Well, what's his choices? Go up and fight 200 pounders? Those guys are way too big for him. So what it does now is it, it caps off cruiserweight at 190. And then you have this other division in the middle. I don't think it's necessary. I don't love it. And I, I think we know the reason why we're getting it.
I don't really – I get what they're doing. It's, it's, it's not necessary. We don't need this. And it's not going to get you the fight they think they're going to get. They think this is going to get them a, a mega fight. Which, and if you're the WBC, you want this. Right? You, look, you'll make Wilder the, the, um, the franchise heavyweight champ or whatever. Right? Like, whatever. If you get him to win this belt, well, I guess you wouldn't have to do it because Wilder's... Wilder's not taking this fight because he's fighting Fury. <laughs> Usyk's not taking this fight because he's fighting AJ after he beats White. So neither of these guys are taking this fight. This is a marketing ploy, and it's not a very good one because nobody wants to be the Super Cruiserweight champion, and you're not getting Wilder versus Usyk. If you think you're getting Wilder versus Usyk, I got a bridge to sell you. Yeah. <laughs> I have some oceanfront property in Arizona to tell you. This fight's not happening. Uh, and, and scratch that. It's not happening. I was going to get into the, 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 the promotional issues, the Eddie Hearn issue, the match room and PBC issue, but it's not happening. Neither of these guys want that fight. Wilder wants to beat Fury. Usyk wants a big money fight against AJ, which he's earned. So he's going to do that. And, and Wilder's going to fight Fury again, the guy who beat him, because he wants the exact revenge on him. So this is fight silly. It's not happening. If the fight happened, Usyk would school him. Us I, I said this, and when he does, I'm going to go back uh, uh, to the boxing voice. I'm going to call Ness. I'm going to laugh at him. Because when, when Usyk was was rampaging through the cruiserweight division, I said he beat Wilder no problem. Right? And laughed at me. Ness laughed at me and this and that. Uh, but I was right. Right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll be proven right in that because Usyk's a different level. You know, like Floyd Mayweather said, his skills pay the bills. And look at Usyk's skill level compared to Wilder. I mean, it's silly. W Usyk is inc is incredibly gifted. He's a he's a full boxer with enough pop. And again, he's not a puncher the way that Wilder is a puncher. He's not even a puncher the way Chizora or AJ is a puncher or or Dillian White. But he's got enough pop. You know, he's got enough pop to make you respected. And he outclasses these guys. He outpoints these guys. The only guy that maybe could beat him is Fury. And Dubois down the road. But that, not right now. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I mean, do you think that – and this was – this weight class, Tony Blue is still working with WBC on this silly weight class. Um, is this something that you guys think boxing needs? Is it good for boxing? And do you think it's worth it if we get Usyk versus Wilder, which we're not going to get? Do you think we get that fight? And if we do, do you think this is a good idea? Based just on that, if we get that one great fight, which we can get at heavyweight, which we don't even need this is weight class, right? Um, do you think do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it makes sense, or do you think it's just silly wasted and another meaningless title in another meaningless meaningless weight class? Do you think either of these guys would want that, right? Do you think Usyk or Wilder wants to be the super cruiserweight champion of the world? I, I know Wilder said at one point that after he unifies all the heavyweight belts, he's going to go down to cruiserweight and um, and and win cruiserweight titles and, and win a world championship at cruiserweight, which I don't think – I mean, look, it may have been a passing thought. I don't think 220-pound Wilder was going to kill himself making weight to get down to cruiserweight – to fight a bunch of cruiserweights. Like, I don't think his, his goal is to beat Fury, beat AJ, and then fight, say, Dortikos. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, that wasn't going to happen. Like, it may have crossed his mind, but he was, I, I don't think he was ever actually going to apply that and actually do that. And, um, Usyk wants to be the heavyweight champion. Usyk could have stayed at cruiserweight and down in the cruiserweight division. He didn't want to be cruiserweight. He wants to be a heavyweight. Now, you think he could be a three weight class, a three weight division champion? He wants to be the heavyweight champion, right? And his career is ticking. He's in his, he's in his early 30s, mid 30s. He doesn't have a whole lot of time left. It's not like he's going to go clean out the heavyweight division, go beat AJ, go beat Dubois, go beat uh, Tyson Fury, and then come back and fight um, the super cruiserweights of the world. Like, it's done with it. They're both heavyweights. You're not getting this fight. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I I, I think this is – I get it. I get the sentiment. I get what Tony Blues is talking about. I get I get the sentiment. I, I get – like if I'm 205 pounds, 207 pounds, I have to either, you know, kill myself to, to, to try to get down or I have to fight guys who are, are – are, are, well, or I have to try to 
fight guys who are 50, 60, 100 pounds in Jerome Miller cases bigger than me. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, again, I, I think you're going to get this weight class. I think it's going to be short-lived. I think they're going to get rid of it because no one wants to fight in it. If you weigh 220, you want to be the heavyweight champ of the world. You don't want to be the, the super cruiserweight champ of the world. So I, I think this division is going to be short-lived. I, I don't think the other sanctioning bodies are going to get involved in this. Um, and I don't think we're going to get Wild Usyk as a result of this. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media uh, from Texas to the, uh, from Texas to the world. This is 3D Boxing saying thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.